Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn. Welcome to my home. I'm glad you're joining me tonight. So it's the beginning of a new year. It could just be anytime whenever you're watching this video. It might be a new year, a new season, a new month, a new day, a new week. Whatever the case might be, are you finding your budget to be really tight? Are you finding like you're feeling like you're a little broke these days? Are you with me? I want to talk about that tonight. So here's the scoop. Yes, not only have groceries gone up in price, but everything's gone up in price. Things have double, tripled, and quadrupled. I hear it from friends that their electric bills, the, the this, the that. The only thing I saw the other day for us in our area was gas was $2.99 a gallon. That's the first time I've seen it under $3 in years. It just, it's not gone under $3. And that was at this gas station. Then the next one was 306 a gallon. So I was like, wow, big whoop. Like we got something in our favor. But everything is so expensive. Even going to thrift shops, which was and is my thing, um, thrift shops have raised their prices. Now, I don't know if they're just jumping on the bandwagon. Um, maybe some of you are, you know, run thrift shops or work at a thrift shop that can leave a comment below but the prices in the thrift shops have gone up and i guess because of their overhead and so on and so forth but with that being said prices have gone up so i you know beginning of the year i always like to project my budget for the year now we all have bills i don't you know whether you owe money on credit cards you have a house mortgage a car payment whatever, doctor bills, whatever the case might be, you know, all of us have some type of uh, bills that we have to pay every month. Your cell phone, you know, just the basic everyday internet, all that kind of good stuff. And, you know, over the last few years, not only have prices gone up, but um, services give you less for your money. So what you used to get the package for this much money and you would get this many services, you're paying the same money but getting this many services. So to get it back to where you want it, you're now paying this much money, you get the picture. So I sat down and I did our full year perspective of what our budget would look like. And I had to do it a second time. I'm like, mm, that doesn't seem right. Then I did it a third time to realize my first attempt was correct. And my second attempt only confirmed it. And my third attempt just made me sick to my stomach. And I kinda, kinda went, you know, feeling and mentioned it to Graham that, um, boy, the numbers just don't wanna line up. Things are tight. By the end of the month, by the time we pay out everything and so on and so forth, there is no wiggle room. And we've done all the things. We've cut back on cable. We've cut back on every, you know, the phone bill, trying to find out what the best, all the stuff. We've done all the things that, you know, all the other channels will tell you, well, you can cut back here, you can cut back there. We've cut back on everything there is to cut back. The only thing would be next is to cancel internet, which means I couldn't do YouTube, which would mean cancel our, and also cancel our cell phones, which in this day and age is... Um, for emergency purposes and everything else we need. And I think that's about the only extra fun things that we do. We don't really, we've cut back on vacations, entertainment, uh, and so on and so forth. Even eating out, that is something we enjoy doing. Graham has a long week at home by himself. So going out to dinner is a treat for him. Sometimes I'm stressed out with work and the hours I put in, so going out to eat is beneficial for me. But we've cut that way back. We are probably have cut back three quarters of it. We no longer do. We've cut back to just that much versus that much. So that was our last holdout of finding a way to make the budget work. Budgets are tight. I know I'm feeling like, how much broker can you feel? Like, you know, broke and you feel like there's just no way out of this. And I have to remind myself to catch my breath. For me, because I'm a firm believer in the word of God, I go back to God will supply my needs and that he has done. I have, I have no wants. You know, I have food, I have shelter, I have clothing. I have plenty, absolutely plenty. So we're not in dire straits. 
But what I am saying is when you look at your budget and you, you know, you want to have extra to do those extra things in life, there's not a lot of wiggle room. And I said to my husband, it's one thing saying we're going to cut back on the, what we buy, the cost of food has gone up. So we'll just scale that down. That's one thing. Yes, but there's still things you need. You need to buy eggs and milk and flour and butter and cheese and meats and this and that. And those prices have gone up. So what's the next best thing to do? Well, I'm going to be talking about more things with budgeting and saving money over the next few weeks. But you know what? I have to stop and think how much food do we waste as I would say probably more the American population than European and so on. But you know, we forget to shop first from our refrigerator. There are things in our fridge. Now put your pantry and your stockpile aside because most likely anything in your pantry and stockpile are canned goods, box goods, things that are shelf stable for a long time. Yes, that's there for us to use, but let's start with our refrigerator where those things are perishable that we need to use up. So I'm gonna take you along. We're gonna just rummage through my refrigerator. It's a little chaotic, it's a little disorganized. We've been on a 10 day stint with nonstop activity, um, helping someone move. We've got, I've had extra hours at work. Graham's been having his normal everyday wonderful seizures that he has. And so our life for the past 10 days have been a little chaotic so what my refrigerator is clean it's just not organized which you will see but i'm going to take you and let's just go and visit my refrigerator see what we can find let's look and see what kind of bits and pieces we can find to pull together a meal let's maybe browse in the freezer to see if there's anything we can add to what's in the fridge and we're going to go grocery shopping from my refrigerator to see what we can use up stretch that money. So just think if you had a piece of meat, like a roast chicken or roast beef, and you had leftovers, how many more meals can you make out of that? Now that's going to be a challenge of mine for this year and a challenge all. I'm going to challenge you to say, Hey Lynn, I just made a roast chicken and guess how many meals I made out of it. Or I had a package of uh, chopped meat, uh, ground beef, and I stretched that and I made XYZ meals out of it. Let's challenge each other to take the meat that we have, one package of meat, especially if you're a family of one to two to three to four people. You know, we're not, most people I think on my channel are not families of 10 or, you know, these larger families. We're smaller families, so we could take a package of chicken thighs one package and stretch that for the entire week. Okay, here we go. Let's shop in my refrigerator. Let's see what we can find for food. Let's see what meals we can make. What can we do with what's left in my refrigerator before I end up having to throw that food out because it sat there so long. I'm gonna shop free of charge right from my refrigerator and cut my budget way down so I don't have to feel so tight on the budget and feel like I'm going broke. All right. Come with me in my kitchen. Okay, so let's save some money and let's go shopping in our refrigerator. What kind of things can we find? This is after about a week or so of just, you know, living life, putting things in the fridge, not really in a very organized way, but who cares? We're looking for what foods are in there that we can use and use up and combine and leftovers or maybe things that are getting to the expiration date or you know whatever. Look for things that you can be creative with. Let's see what we can find in my refrigerator. What meal I can pull together. Are there things that I can combine and make extra meals with? What do you see? What kind of things do you see in my fridge that you might go, oh, you know what she could make. So let's find out what I end up doing.
Okay, so you know what? I gotta clean out what I have and I've gotta use up what I have. So I have a couple of cans of the biscuits and I gotta use these up. I find that they don't stay forever, but even still, I have them, I might as well use them. I have two things of chopped meat, ground beef. So I'm gonna use one for a beef stroganoff because I have some sour cream and I'm going to use one. I've been dry, dying to try a recipe for Korean barbecue. Now I don't have all the exact ingredients, but I have enough that I can improvise. I have some peas and carrots frozen. So I think I'm gonna use those with one of the ground beefs for the beef stroganoff, along with the sour cream and I need some bouillon. I do have some uh, chicken broth that I made. So I think I'm going to use some of that in the beef stroganoff and then I'll have the biscuits with the beef stroganoff. Then I found this in the freezer, which is bean and ham soup. And I think I'm going to put some bread in the bread machine tomorrow. And we can make he ham and bean soup for lunch with homemade bread. I have extra flour that if you remember way back on a few videos ago, I got three bags of flour gifted to me. I wanna start using that up. I have half a container of sweet chili sauce left over from Christmas from meatballs that I made, and I probably won't use this for anything else. So I do have some chicken in the freezer, some boneless chicken, and I think I'm gonna put that in the crock pot with the sweet chili sauce. Just cook up the chicken so it's fork tender and delicious. And then the extra broth that I have, I'm gonna make some chicken soup with the chili sauce over the chicken. I think that'll make a really tasty soup. And then any leftover peas and carrots I'll use in that. I have some fresh carrots as you saw in the drawer. I might add a few of those. I have some celery powder. I'm also, I had dehydrated some celery to make cream of celery soup that's shelf stable. That's a video coming, but I do have some celery powder. I don't have fresh celery, but I do have fresh onions. So I think that's a good way of starting to use things up. Then I went in the freezer and I found this and I forgot someone had made us homemade, and I think they were buttermilk biscuits. Oh no, eggnog, eggnog cinnamon rolls. That's what they were for Christmas. And we froze the leftovers. So I'm thinking for breakfast tomorrow, I'm gonna have those, but I also have this sausage. It's been floating around in the freezer for a while. I'm gonna defrost this tonight and tomorrow I'm going to make us a grits casserole. I made it once before and it was so delicious. So I'm gonna use this in the grits casserole with those cubes of cheese you saw in my refrigerator. I need to start using that up and we can have that with the cinnamon rolls. So I think I've got quite a good selection here. A couple of meals with these, the Korean barbecue, beef stroganoff, grits casserole, which will not only be for breakfast, but that, could be a good side dish for a dinner or lunch. Use up the peas and carrots in the soup with the beef stroganoff. I've got the chili sauce. I'll use that with some chicken I have in the freezer. Use the sour cream up with the beef stroganoff. The biscuits could go on the side. I've got lunch for tomorrow. Use up some of that flour I have and use up this bean soup. Make some room in the freezer. The broth for the beef stroganoff and the soup got these cinnamon rolls to go with the casserole. I think I'm doing pretty good. What do you think? Using up bits and bobs and bits and pieces of what I have. So right now I've got the water coming to a boil. I'm going to make egg noodles. I've got the oven warming up in here so I can put biscuits in there. And then in the back, I'm going to grab my trusty little frying pan and I'm going to get my beef stroganoff. Actually, I might I might go for my electric frying pan and put that over here on my counter and yeah. okay so I had just maybe a teaspoon left of this so I wanted to use that up and this is my favorite go-to this is gravy granules if I want to use beef broth or something like that so I just put it in a container this was just a leftover container from Ovaltine I just like the size of it, so I've saved it, 
and I put the tomato and the gravy granules in that, shake it up, and I'm just waiting for these onions to brown up a little bit more. Then I'm going to put the meat in here and I'm going to add the gravy granules and the tomato. I've got the pasta cooking in here. I've got about three minutes left on there. I've got the biscuits in here. Using up and shopping from my refrigerator and my freezer before I even try and hit the pantry, using up all those leftovers, the leftover meat. I don't want to waste it and so on. So yes, I got that from the pantry, but I'm using shopping from my freezer, shopping from my leftover meat. So let's pour this in here and get this set up. Now this is probably going to make enough for dinner tonight. I'll say the guy's like he's pretty hungry. Um, dinner tonight and maybe another lunch, but we just shall see. Let me pour in the liquid and then I cook that down. This is how I make mine. I make it different. It just depends. I got a little bit left in there. I got to get a little bit more water. Okay, there we go. Let's get rid of that. Make sure we get all the goodness out of there. Okay. So uh, what I did not say is I worked about a nine and a half hour day today. Right as I was getting ready to leave work, Graham texted me. I'm laying on the bed. I had a seizure. So for those of you that don't know, my husband has epilepsy. So I am the breadwinner of the family. I work in full-time Christian ministry. So we don't make a lot of money. We're on a very tight budget. And after looking at our yearly budget for this year and knowing that we just don't have a lot of wiggle room each month, I'm using up every bits and pieces that I can to make a good meal for my family and use up all those leftovers. Why waste good food and why waste my money that God's provided for us? I got to use it up. So I'm going to cook this down. I'm going to add some peas and carrots to it. And the noodles have about a minute left, so I'm going to drain those, and I'll bring you back to show you what else to do. I'm going to be adding a little bit of cream of mushroom soup. Yes, from a can. That's what I have. And then also throw in some sour cream. And we'll let the carrots and peas cook down a little bit. Then I'll throw in the noodles. We'll have that with a roll on the side, and we'll call it dinner. So as you can see, there's a little frost on here, and that's why you really need to use your stuff up. So it's good. It's good. I used half the bag. So I want to cook that down, put the lid on here for maybe like three or four minutes just to let them cook. Then I'll add the mushroom soup and the sour cream. And listen, if you got a little frost, it's just ice. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Whoop, one lost carrot. But I will say I have another half a bag and it was too much to use in this recipe. But what I am going to use it in is a recipe that was my Nana's and she grew up, raised her kids during the depression and she would make a tuna casserole two different ways. So I think I'll bring you back at some point and show you that. If you have a bag of leftover potato chips that are starting to go eh, a little stale, maybe you ate and got the crumbs and you don't know what to do with it, come back for a video on that. Here's your cream of mushroom soup. Let's add a little sour cream, give it a final stir, and let it simmer until the biscuits are done. Okay, now we've got the sour cream and the soup. I'm gonna give this a real good stir, mix it all up, let it simmer, and I'll bring you back when everything's being plated up. Kip's working away out there, babe. So I poured the noodles in and I'm just gonna mix it all together. We don't normally do that. I usually serve it on top of the noodles, but again, it's my kitchen. As Jan from New York City says, you're your own CEO in your own kitchen. And you can decide how you're going to use your leftovers, what do you want to make out of it, how you want to serve it, and the whole rest of the story. Now, I did taste it. Always taste your food. Make sure it has enough flavor. And I, I felt like it needed a little something, so I did add some salt. I know there's salt in the broth and all that, so I didn't want to, you know, use too much salt. I also added onion and garlic powder, and I threw in some paprika. 
made a world of difference. So just that little bit, and listen, this is 90% leftovers. I used what was left in here. This is almost done here. I have just a tad of sour cream. We'll probably use that on some potatoes. Um, the peas and carrots were, you know, getting ready to be dumped because if I kept them much longer, I had leftover meat. There we go, guys. There we go. So I'm going to plate this up and I'll show you what it looks like. So there you have it. A delicious dinner. I love these bowls. These are the Pilgrim, Pilgrim? No, Pioneer Woman bowls. And I love them. We do our pasta. We do a lot of dishes in here, a biscuit on the side. Plenty of food here. This is only one person. I'm going to feed two more out of this and we'll have leftovers for plenty. lunch. We have plenty of hot biscuits to go around for everyone. I might even have enough left over that I could either use them in the morning with that grits casserole or use them with that soup in the afternoon instead of making bread. So there you have it. Why did I get canned biscuits for nights like this when I don't have time to bake biscuits from scratch? I worked, Graham had a seizure, I came home. It's either takeout or canned biscuits, homemade leftover food pulled together for a delicious homemade dinner that my family will enjoy. All right guys, like, comment, and subscribe and we'll catch you all on the next video.